All right, chat. Look, I want to help. I want to help those who need this help right now. So basically, I'm a, I'm a spread the knowledge and I'm gonna help unlock the, the necessary traits to have Riz and unspoken Riz. I'm gonna explain what unspoken Riz is in a second, but I said Riz on this channel multiple times. Riz is basically the ability to bag anyone. In my case, it's the ability to bag any shorty I want, right? I'm a, I'm a, I got y'all, I'm gonna bring y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story and I'm gonna tell y'all the steps to unlock your inner Riz. <laughs> Alright, so before I get into my definition of Riz, I just want to give y'all a visualization of Riz because right now I don't really have one. But I want to give you the I want to give you a visual of Riz, right? If you don't know who this is, his name is Duke Dennis. His name is Duke Dennis. He's a streamer. If you're familiar with AMP, the YouTube group, you he's in that YouTube group. You should know who he is if you're into YouTube. Duke Dennis is known like he's basically He's basically like the final boss of Riz, bro. Like, you know, let's look at Duke real quick. You know how ladies say they like dark skin niggas, dreads, tattoos, whatever the fuck, you know. Not everybody can be that, you feel me? I'm obviously not that. At the end of the day, they're lying. But look at Duke, bro. He's what the ladies like. If You know, tattoos, he's dark skin, he's tall. You feel me? Now look. I like the answer right there. I like the answer right there. Here, make sure you text Make sure you text me too. Meaning that the girl was trying to back Duke. Not Duke trying to back the girl. The girl tried to back Duke. I'm not saying women don't shoot their shot. Because women do. So don't sit here and say women don't shoot their shot. If you say that, they just don't shoot their shot to you. They got a very weird way of shooting their shot. You see how she said, make sure you text me. Make sure you text me. She wanted Duke. All right, let's continue. Wait, let me find myself. Let me call myself. What she just said right there, I'm speaking in terms of bagging a shorty, right? So who's ever into women, I need you to listen to this right now. When you when you when you want you see a fire shorty and you want a bagger, what you wanna do is get her number. Get her Instagram. Feel me? If you can, if you can, make sure you put your number and her phone and text. Don't give her your number. If she's not interested, she's probably not gonna text you at all. Get her number so you have it. Get her Instagram so you have it. Get her whatever. You see how that girl was like, I'm gonna call you. That girl was afraid Duke Dennis was not gonna call her. This is what I'm saying. She was hesitant on Duke not really texting her. She wanna be the thumbnail again. Since when do women wanna be thumbnails? Let's continue. Let's meet again. <laughs> they all for him. Once a once a woman sees you confident, once she sees how you carry yourself, you're not scared of her. Once she see like you you controlling the conversation and everything, she wants you. Now, granted, you know Duke got money. Aside from like the materialistic things, Duke is just like any other dude that you know gets his fair share of women. He knows how to speak to a lady. You feel me? Like you just gotta unlock the psychology behind a woman. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure Duke took his L's before. Everybody take L's, and if any dude says they never took an L, they lying. This video was my previous video that I made. I had a girlfriend for 24 hours. I think she likes me. Now let's let's look at because this is this is my wrist. Let me show you my wrist. I said she had to put on a lip gloss for me. I was doing a little flirting and playing that I want to kiss, right? So she was like, yeah, I did. She threw in a playful joke. So the signs but between the two, the two phrases, she's implying that she has no problem with that. You feel me? But she was just throwing out a mean joke so she can, you know, da ha ha ha, like. All right, look at this. Look at the riz. Face palm. So you see the Riz, she grabbed my hand. What I, she was basically on time with whatever I was doing on that day. Let me break down my point. Why I'm showing these clips, why I'm sh giving y'all a visual analysis. The only men they want to give their time to is the confident men. There was not one time in this whole entire day I wasn't confident. She was. She had a good attitude because we was going to make a video and that's exactly what we did. That day, I planned that day and I executed that day because I had confidence. Confidence. It's levels to this. You gotta start from the bottom and make your way up to the top. That's what I'm saying, right? Like it's almost it's like a ranking system. You feel me? You gonna get the women that's in your ranking system. Then once you as you get different women in your ranking system, you're gonna level up to the next ranking system and the next ranking system and the next ranking system. So now you've seen your visual representation of Riz. You know, I showed my my little Riz and I showed Duke Dennis for a better visualization. Understand? Now we're here to sit down and speak about my unspoken Riz story. Now, if you don't know what unspoken Riz is, unspoken Riz is 
is the ability to bag a woman without saying a word. It might sound hard, it's definitely possible and it's not hard. It was around, it was actually a couple days after my birthday in February, I was in Puerto Rico street. I was walking down the street. I went to the store cause I wanted, I wanted me some ease. I wanted some good ease. I was just getting a snack. I, I, I think I got me some oranges. They were, I was paying for my things. I was at the register. I was at the register like this, right? So I had my back turned to the door. That's a, that's a L, don't ever do that. I had my back turned towards the door and somebody walks in because a nigga like me, I'm gonna always be alert. She comes in, like I said, I'm being cautious. So I look back and I was like, damn, she look good. Like I said in my head, She's walking into the store like she complaining on the phone, but she was like, I'm bored. He's not answering the phone, bro. Like, I want to go to the beach. On that type shit. So I was like, so I was, as I'm paying for my things, I'm handing him my card, you know, and I'm, I'm like, as he's printing my receipt, I grab my phone out my pocket. I handed it to her like this, like this, like I handed it to her like this and I'm, I'm still giving it. I'm, I'm multitasking because I'm still, you know, get, getting my card, getting a receipt, real gangster with it. I'm done paying for my stuff. And now she's like this. She's typing her number in my phone while she's on the phone. Feel me? She smiled at me. She had a beautiful smile. She's that I'm and smiled at me and gave me my phone back. And I was like, I'm gonna hit you. But I think I said it too, like, too low, like a lower tone to where she has, she couldn't hear me. I don't think she knew I knew how to speak English. Like after that, I fake fell in love because she had a beautiful smile. That was that was just the, my story of unspoken ridge. You saw how the action of me not saying a word to her as I got her number. When you risen up a shorty, if you got something to brag about, then brag about it. But not nothing crazy. Like don't brag about it. Like be like throw it a little, a little bit. Just it's a little like a little sprinkle of the brag. You feel me? That was the video. It was a quick video for y'all. I wanted to. I've been wanting to do this video a little bit. I feel like I had a little bit of shit to teach. I might come back with a part two to letting niggas know what women actually like. So like. Like I say in every other video, I see you in the next one. Fuck out of my face. I'm gonna move every day, trying to get money to buy my own place. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the riches. Watch me come to the block in the race. I used to trap selling weed on the block, and I leveled the moving that way.